I'm going to show off a Beskar data pack. For those of you who don't know what Beskar is, it is a fictional metal from Star Wars, and it makes up the Mandalorian's armor, which is a it's just a actively running show on Disney Plus. Anyways, all it really adds is a new ingot, Beskar, obviously, and then custom armor. Uh, I'll explain why the armor's not retextured, but custom armor that has a unique ability. <clears throat> okay, so what you need to do to start going is create a smeltery. I have one here, but as an admin, you can just run Beskar smeltery. You just run that function and you'll have your own. Okay, so if you wanna make an ingot, you've gotta, well, I have the wrong amounts here. <clears throat> Don't know why I messed that up. But you need 32 coal, just like that, and 32 iron, just like that. And then you put a lava in the middle. There you go, you got one Baskar or Beskar ingot. You need 26 in order to make everything in the pack. So throw this together and you fill the rest with lava. There's your Beskar helmet. There is your Beskar chest plate. It's all kind of what you'd expect. Beskar leggings. Beskar boots. And for the sword, dagger, whatever, use that end rod. You get your Beskar dagger. So you might've noticed already, the only difference aside from the name of the item is that this is unbreakable, which holds in line with kind of Beskar's reputation. So this means in the game, when you're wearing this armor, it is never going to break. Uh, you won't need to put mending on it, you won't need any of that, it just won't break. I was going to make it as strong as diamond armor, but I decided against it because it would just, I, I kind of like the idea of a respective armor having one advantage, whereas different armors still have their own thing. So like for instance, diamond can totally break, but it's stronger. This is a little bit weaker, but it can't break. Um, you could easily go into the data pack and change that and make this. Uh, these iron or Beskar boots or whatever, as strong as diamond boots. And as for why I didn't texture it, well, I could texture the item, but once it gets into your onto your body, best I can tell you cannot retexture the armor without overriding the vanilla, um, without overriding the vanilla texture. So if I changed it, it would apply to regular iron armor, and I just I didn't want that. And you may notice that the Beskar ingot is a different color. I went ahead and changed that and I will attach the resource pack for that. And for those of you who are familiar with custom textures, every single Beskar piece has a custom model data of one. So if you wanna try and prove me wrong and retexture the armor, feel free to. I did go ahead and add that in case that feature gets added in the future. Anyway, the download to this data pack is in the link below and that's really it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.